So here we are going to discuss about the experimental setup of a reciprocating air compressor. So we are here we are having a low pressure compressor and a high pressure compressor. So this is a multi-stage compression uh, which is taking place here. Then this is the storage tank. In the storage tank we will be keeping this compressed air. Uh, this is the prime mover. By using this prime mover we are working this compressor. And there are uh, several techniques to take this load reading. So load is taken in the dial. Then a manometer is to provide it for taking the head. It is shown there with an inclined manometer. Now first what we do is, before doing our experiment, we should check three things. First one is, this valve should be completely opened. This delivery one, valve is? Uh, yes, this is the delivery valve. This is completely opened. That means we are getting the delivery. That means, here the output is the compressed air inside the storage tank. When it is fully open, there will not be any compressed air. So that means there is no output. Then, the second thing to be checked is, we should check for the oil level. So the, here the oil level is in a satisfactory fashion. So if this oil level is very low, we should inform the authorities and we should uh, fill the oil. So the third thing that should be done is, a delivery here, there is a valve provided here, it is a drain valve. So what should we do is we should open it so that we are able to uh, remove the water which is stored inside it. So these three things should be done before doing the experiment. Then after that, we will be switching on our experimental setup. So the main switch is provided here. We will be switching on the, our experimental setup. And now uh, valve is fully open. And then uh, while switching on it, here there are two noodles, needles provided here. So these should be in the same level. So usually th this will be... So the two noodles needles are provided here these needles should be in the same level usually it will be in the same level so if it is not in the level we will be adjusting this knob and then we will be taking the initial reading initial set of reading the load will be taken from this dial then we are have to check the rpm uh, we should take a tachometer and that will be leveled to this particular reflecting surface and we will be taking the rpm then an inclined manometer is provided from this inclined manometer, we will be taking the manometer head. So, initial reading is done. Then what we do is, <clears throat> we will be closing it fully. On closing it fully, what happens is here there is a uh, pressure dial. So, initially it was fully open, that means the pressure would be zero initially. Now, on closing it, slowly the pressure starts to develop. And when the pressure reaches a value 1.5, what will we do is we will open this delivery valve and we will adjust it in such a way that the delivery pressure will be uh, kept constant at 1.5. So when uh, the delivery pressure is constant, again go for the reading. Uh, first check whether these two needles are in level. If it is in level, uh, if it is in not level, adjust it. Then uh, make those things in level. After that, take the load reading. So after taking the load reading, go for the manometer reading. Again, we can check the RPM by using tachometer. So we have the second set ready. Again, close it fully. Close this delivery valve fully. Uh, again, pressure starts to develop. When the pressure uh, reading reaches 3.5, again, uh, open the delivery valve. Or 3 or 3.5, open the delivery valve. Adjust in such a way that the pressure remains constant at 3. Again, take the load reading, RPM and manometer reading. And continue till 7.5 because here, the Reciprocating air compressor which is provided to us is having a maximum capacity of 8. So to work it in under a safe condition, go for up to 7.5. And so we will be having some 6 or 5 set of reading. So which can be used to com uh, compute various uh, efficiencies, uh, work, etc. That's what uh, the experiment on reciprocating air compressor is. Thank you.